Well, I got it. I have the Neo Decker driver. It's the most powerful driver in all Common Rider. It's also the pinkest. Yep. That's one reason why I bought it. What well, was I'll the other get... reason? I, I just because it's decade and decade's fucking badass. So well, I'm gonna get the Neo DN driver. So yeah. Cool. And then I get all those cards. So yeah. Well, and since Zeo Trinity debuted this episode, this week is a Trinity of Cast Rangers. Hopefully, we don't fuse together though. Cue the roll call. Wait, there's four of us. We are live. Mike Zenkaigan. Connect. Loading. Broadcast. Wielding equipment, the plot, and ire! Blue Caster, Ishida Zazil! Loud and impulsive, Pink Caster, Lane! One little spark of courage, Green Caster, Global South Perka! Broadcasting hundreds of opinions across the world! Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. Oh, Welcome, or should I say EY, to another episode of Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. Hi, everybody. So, as you as you heard, I have my Neo Deck driver. It's fucking awesome. It's the toy that I never realized I wanted or asked for. You always wanted it. Let's be, let's be Well, real. no. Like, I mean, it's the toy. It's the belt I never thought I never like asked for you didn't I never, know I how much wa- you wanted it until you knew it existed <laughs> yeah like i never once thought in my whole loving of comrade just being like you know what would be really cool decade had a pink deca driver that'd be fucking cool with all the neo heisei powers just fucking at this right next we'll get a pink drive driver for kiriko to use oh my gosh she would love that don't make a joke out of that <laughs> i'll see if, if it, uh, just any pink belt i'll buy it <laughs> Yeah. I don't know who it's... Kiriko is, but I know you like pink and also drive, so... Kiriko is probably the strongest female brighter protagonist we've ever had. Strongest like... of character, sure. Physically strongest would go to Hina. Yeah, but she had those cool-ass fucking rider-kicking boots. <laughs> By the way, those. Kiriko is from drive. Yeah. Really. I mean, I, I, I assume so, because I don't know why she'd be using a drive driver otherwise. Well, she tried to transform into Drive one episode and, like, it literally... Ex- like, do you remember in Iron Man 3 when Iron Man... When Tony put on his new suit and then, like, one piece, like, fucking broke the entire thing off of him? It, that happened, essentially. She just couldn't handle it, basically. Oh, jeez. Um, so welcome to episode 240. 240. Um, I don't know. Someone, Pokemon! Yeah, Pokemon, since Blazy Coon is in here. One second. He's, well, he's, he's busy he's, with class. He's in class. He's learning. <laughs> you don't need to learn anything. It's Magby. It's all on the internet. I'm so Magby. Cool. Cool. I love or Magby. hot, rather. I, I, I like Magmotor, personally. Mortar. Yeah. yeah. Morty. Magmorty. Oh, I, I want to call him Magmorty. That's <laughs> <laughs> so what I have a Magmortar called Magmorty. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh god, I reference. There he is. Oh, he's, I don't know. I always thought Maggie was cute. He's got funny hair. He's got. No, he's got fucking sick three pairs of boobs on his head. Don't well, put I mean, that in my head. No, if you look at Magmar's head, Japanese, it looks like he has like a. Boobers. He has a set of boobs on his head. No, no but his weird. Japanese name is actually. What? Isn't it like Booburn? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> it's pooper. There's work. no way that's on purpose. <laughs> I don't, I don't think it is on purpose, honestly. Oh it's lord! Absolutely not. Magby, live coal Pokemon, Japanese booby. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> yes, he's got a set of moves on his head. It evolves into no! booby. Have you I'm never not noticed that? Side, no. But... I'm see? not making this up. It's really the same. And then it evolves into Magmortar, which is called Booburn. Yeah, see, this because I always thought Magmar was this fucking badass fire Pokemon. Then someone made him mention that he looks like he has a pair of boobs on his head, and now I can't. No, I have, I have, you ruined I have, it. I know. I have. I don't. 
I don't actually think that the name is a reference to that. I think that it's a reference to the bird. <laughs> That's why Magmort is fucking the coolest, because he doesn't have a set of boobs on his head. I hate you! <laughs> what, you like Magmar? Yes! Aww. Yeah, it actually is apparently confirmed that it's a, it's a reference to the, 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 the seabird. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, you're the same guy who didn't notice that Akito's fucking emblem was based on his goddamn face! Wait, is it? Oh my god, it is! I'm just kidding. I know. Uh, anyways, hello everyone. Uh, so, this week we're so this week we're talking about episodes, uh, zero, episode 30. God damn, we're already 30 episodes into the show. And now, uh, also, now you know, it's getting good. You know what I just noticed? What? Zero Trinity debuted on episode 30. Ooh. Oh. Did Zeo 2 happen on episode 20? Yes. Did it? Yes, it did. Huh. <laughs> Devastated picture or sent to. Episode 22. Oh, right. Yeah, it was on episode 22. So we get to episode 40 and it'll have an even stupider form. Oh, Grand Zeo. So I'm correct. Probably. <laughs> so yes, we're talking about Zeo episode 30, Ryu Soldier episode 4, and for week 2 of Metal April 2... We will be discussing the first three episodes of Seiyun Kamen Machine Man, oh. aka Nebula Mask oh, Machine Man. Oh, oh my! Do we have fucking things to say? It's another it. show a series. It's a show a series, which you know means it's going to be fucking over the top and just amazing to talk about. Absolute batshit. But anyways, let's go into Zio. But don't worry, Ichi. I'll take care of the bump for this week. Oh. Wow. Fucking love this belt. I'm so glad this belt came with a fucking Zio Henshin card. Like, it's so awesome. That's how I know Sukasa's fucking getting the Zio powers. If we see him again! Because he just. He, he just fucked off after dropping off soup. <laughs> he, he, he delivered some soup and fucked off. Through time! So, yeah, so episode 30, the debut of uh, Zeo Trinity. And, and the debut of another Waz having a fucking personality. Yeah, so... That's uh, a good point. So, uh, and also, this, like, concluded the Blade story. Like, yeah, the Blade story has come to full completion, because... Spoilers to those who haven't watched Blade at the a end 15 year old of year old show. At the end of Blade, like so, the thing with Blade and Chalice, and they actually explain in the show, which is good because I actually forgot about that. They're like two the, sides of the same coin. Not necessarily. It was more like they or were like the two Alpha and Omega. They, I were, guess? they were the two primary participants of the battle royale, which consisted of all the uh, all the undead from Blade, and so they, they were one hundred and one hundred and one. No, no, there were like oh. fifty two of them ish. Oh, I thought there were 99 undead. I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Oh, because you had 52 cards in the deck. Yeah. That's right. And the Joker's, there's like, one the, Joker's the 53rd card. Yeah, except yeah. now the, the way it worked is there were there was one Joker. Um, the way the Battle Royale worked in Blade is that all the undead fought to become the dominant species of the planet. And at the end, the spirit, the human undead, Haj like Hajime, his original form, won... And that's why humanity became the dominant species of the planet. Um, but then when the undead started reappearing over the course of the Blade series, uh, at, towards the end, uh, because the Battle Royale was basically resolved again, the Dark Roaches started coming out and trying to destroy the world. Um, so in order to stop that from happening, Blade turned himself into a second Joker, which meant that the Battle Royale was not resolved, and in order to make sure that it would never be resolved, he sealed Hajime and and basically isolated himself in in outside of civilization. So it was kind of a really tragic ending. Yeah, like and then the fucking Blade movie tried to like do its own. It was an alternate ending. Yeah, where it's like, oh, everything's fine. Yeah. I, I have was... to admit. Oh, sorry to interrupt. That's okay. Go ahead. That um. You will be hearing this at, from the perspective of me not being able to find an English subbed version of this episode, and oh, instead, it was subbed this morning. 
yeah, I couldn't find it. <laughs> and instead, um, finding a raw version of this episode. So, all the Blade stuff, especially, was... Like, I know what happened with the Zeo characters. Did all the Blade stuff, especially absolutely lost on me um i will try to explain what i think happened if you guys would find that funny sure okay um so, so yeah oh sorry go ahead. Ahead. no so okay so something happened to white was which we will talk about later i guess um and then the book fell and then the two guys um <laughs> got their powers sucked out of them and yeah then but they could still remember who they were for some reason well each you each will explain that so that, oh that now because i guess their powers are evil or something okay so as as we knew from staff announcements the show has pretty much given up on the whole erasing the timeline thing yeah so it seems that like the writers aren't going to like forget who they are which honestly that should have been it from the beginning it should have just been they lost their powers but they still remember who they are and the timeline's not erased ripped to all the timelines that did get erased fuck them fuck God, which is it, sad. Cause... Which is gonna make rewatching Zeo a fucking pain. Yeah. If I ever wanted to. But I I like to think they cover their asses as best as possible because the way that they did so was that we're not going back to that show's year anymore. So I think that the coexistence of the rider during their year and the another rider invading that year is what would have caused the erasure of the timeline. Yeah, but then so they... now that the another riders are happening in 2019. It, for some unknown reason, but, is not triggering the erasure of the timeline. But but, but then that just get rid of, gets rid of the yeah, whole I... theme of the show, which is about time travel. Now we can time travel to Omazeo's time. So what should have happened was they should have went back to 2004 when, like, Kenzaki and, and Hajime were about to duke it out or something for the final time as the two Jokers... And that's where another blade should have sucked out their powers, and then everything was resolved, and they could go on their merry own ways and live their lives happily for the next fifteen years. That's what should have happened. The next fifteen. Still invoking the time travel aspect, because like I don't know, Gen on a general scale, I think this episode kind of really, really sours how much of an impact Blade's ending had, because it kind of just like see that Zia went looked at Blade's ending and went that was cool. But I want this to happen instead. Except that was a terrible idea. Yeah. So I mean, Zio I like was writing a fix fic? Yeah, they like were writing their own better quote unquote ending to a show this from 15 years ago. This is my head cannon. Fuck you. Exactly. That is but, what a fix fic is and it is never a good idea. Right? Um, but yeah, so like freaking. Like, Dien just, they're asking what Dien's fucking there for, and he's like, well, wherever Tsukasa goes, I, I follow. And it's like, yeah, no, that's that's Dien's character in a nutshell. Wherever Tsukasa goes, he goes with them. Just to steal treasures. Just to, yeah, because that's... For a reason that we still don't really have any background and on. Apparently the biggest treasure he was looking for was another Waz's tablet. I mean, that's a pretty good treasure. Yeah, and the, which means Dan just is gonna write the future however the fuck he wants. Dan's gonna write his own fix fix. I steal this thing! Yay! All I can think, and I haven't even seen Decade, is him being like, now I can actually give Decade an ending! <laughs> <laughs> I continue shooting Sukasa in the face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, man. So, Toei... <laughs> Toei fixes their shit. They, back in... Was it 2010? Heisei continues for another... 2009. Heisei continues yeah, for 2009, another 10 years. Toei made a, made a series called Kamen Rider Decade that lasted for 130 episodes. Christ. I want Decade Season 2. I'm not fucking Darling me. Zio is Decade Season 2! Who are we kidding? Shh! <laughs> I mean, you're right, but... <laughs> and then DN got 30 girlfriends. We're Decade Season 2 featuring Zio. See, that's, that's the thing. I think I think, I think think Kaito is a fucking player, so I feel like he can get any woman he wants. Maybe he's maybe he's getting all these treasures to try and use them to pick up chicks. Steal your heart. 
I'm not, this is so bad, but all I can imagine is him write him being like at like a hostess club, and then he writes, then comes off the bra. <laughs> I was gonna say he writes in the tablet, and then so, all the girls kiss me. And when a date goes fucking sour, just invisible. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck I off. like the idea. He doesn't even write "I turn invisible." He just writes "invisible" in all no, caps. No, he, he uses the invisible card. Yeah, because Dan has like a, a writer oh, card yeah, that turns invisible. I, I remember Nina, that's what he does. He now like, it's oh, Neo invisible. He girls with some other writers. <laughs> <laughs> Summon, summons Fom, Malika, and Nadeshko. And just oh, he just dates the just, data clones? Just, just has a fun oh, night. That's fucked up. Oh, my, my. Looks, look, look, looks, at, looks at Poppy. Hmm. Maybe I can come and ride some friends. Just po- so has good. a poker night with all the Blade Riders. <laughs> I feel like I caused this. Feels like gaming? Summons x aid Riders. <laughs> Why not? See, he has, he has writers to summon for any any fucking pastime he, he he's interested in. That's hilarious. Oh my god, we we need a we need a DNB cinema. Oh my god, like, ep- episode so episode Yellow was like the closest thing we had to like a DN movie. Yeah, but like. It's a movie where he stole from himself. Like, why am I talking about this? Like, I don't even like Dan that much. Like, he, like, There's not much to like. like. He's an asshole who steals treasures and runs away. Yeah, but his, his abilities are so fucking cool. Right? Like, I don't like his suit, but he's, he's, he's so cool. He's such a cool writer. God damn it. Fuck you, Dan. <laughs> anyway, so, so yeah. Back so, back to Zeo. They, they, even though Trinity is, hasn't happened yet, they already added it to the fucking opening. No, that's, that, that's just the thing they do now. That was like, surprising. It's fucking Bill. They can fucking keep their opening straight. That, that's the one fucking, like, one of the little minor flaws Bill had was that I couldn't keep their fucking opening updated. Yeah. It's annoying. Every time I think about it, I just want to, like, make a better opening. Yeah, I was about to say, you should make just a fucking proper one and then insert it into the episodes. And just be like, here you go. Better, better version. Now I have to find raws of all the episodes. We need. We just need to rewatch Belt sometime. Yeah, now that all the movies are out. There you go. Well, Grease movie. Oh yeah, there you go. Watch it in time for the Grease movie. Yeah. There we go. Do, um, do we do what build what everyone's doing with Avengers Endgame? <laughs> Everyone a money chance. Yeah. <laughs> so like, Blade is fighting Chalice, and Zeo's fighting another Blade. And then Blade does his lightning sonic, and Chalice gets in the way to defend Amane because she gets knocked into the into the fray. <laughs> and then, as she like, as another Blade turns back into Amane, literally everyone goes Amane Chan, Amane Chan, and then just Zio. Amane Chan. I cool. Can, no, Vegas Bear has it perfect. Dan, my work here is done, but you didn't do anything. Invisible, <laughs> didn't I? <laughs> Off. Oh, it's that uh, Sailor Moon. My work here is done. Yeah. You didn't do anything. Well, it's Larry Nimoy from Simpsons. Didn't I? Just tell Transformers. It's funny because it's Tuxedo Common. Oh, and, he, and he's a Kaito. I love Tuxedo kind of. Mask. So cool. Uh, anyways. Oh, no, he did do something. He made breakfast. He did make breakfast. Pretty good one, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it, it, it looked pretty extensive. Yeah. But yeah, I like that they actually like kept accuracies to the whole Kensaki being a Joker thing. Because like when we see him later, he's like bleeding green. So yeah. I was like, I was like, good continuity, guys. I guess it really was easy bleeding green. So yeah, so like pretty <laughs> much, pretty much he like explains just like, oh yeah, like Amane had like this huge like crush on Hajime and like kind of looked up to him and like he knew that. Uh, like he could protect her and stuff like that and then Hajime like she goes to visit him later and like Hajime's just like yeah I stayed away from you because if I was still there you wouldn't have a life I swear to god I thought he was gonna like reveal his Joker form to her I feel like that should have happened yeah, well did she know he was a writer in the show I don't remember Man. I feel like she probably found out eventually I would love if just the Hajime copy fucking showed up like the guy who oh like, the got, dude oh that was that was a weird episode. I didn't realize I I needed. I remember thinking that whole episode. This is cool already, but where's fucking Chalice Wild? Because <laughs> I was so impatient waiting for it to happen. Yeah. Oh man, but yeah. So like, I, I kind of like that the scene with the Mani where he's just like, she still kind of she still cares about him a lot, but Hajime's just like doing his Hajime thing, where it's just like, <laughs> no, no. If I was there, you wouldn't have the life 
you wouldn't be able to choose a life for yourself, and you'd be wasting your time just being with me. So, yeah. gross. <laughs> Even though later he says, anytime you're in trouble, I'll be here to defend you. And clearly Happy she's just in trouble. Just yeah. call my name. So this is where... Hajime. So when, as, <laughs> as, as they explain the whole Joker's destroying the world thing, this is where we find out what Froz's current objective apparently was. So we don't necessarily have the full story on the quote-unquote ending he wanted yet, so it may have been the case that he still had a lot of other ulterior plans that we don't know of and probably won't know of. But apparently, once he was certain that his ending wasn't going to happen, he decided, fuck it, let the world be destroyed. And last week, we assumed that this was by way of Decade, who had made mention of destroying the world. But apparently, it was by way of letting the Blade Joker world destruction end happen. Yeah. And that was really interesting. Yeah, so... It, it, it felt weird seeing Blade specifically be such a central plot point. You know well, I mean? because I get, I get, you know what? It's probably because another Waz looked into all the other Rider timelines. And which just, one was closest well, to destroying which, the yeah, world? Which one was close to fucking up the whole world? Oh, Blade was. Okay. <laughs> Worms? Uh, nah, they, 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 they won't work. <laughs> oh, God. I'm super interested to see what they do with Kabuto now. I hope they do something great with Kabuto. And now we have oh, right, Kate's Garen armor. High Rider custom. Uh, and he's got he's got the fucking Garen Rouser for shoulders. It looks like he's got rabbit ears. I thought that those were entire bikes for a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a gun with cards on it. I can see that now. Um. <sighs> uh, yeah, I like I like uh, Gates like goes to visit another Waz or whatever like that, and he's just like he's like the fuck's your deal, man. And it's like we figured out your shit, and another Waz is like, oh, good good job. I'm proud of you. Um, but yeah, and then we just like get later that just like, um, what I love is oh yeah, Junichiro at one point walks up to Sogo and he's like, "Well, the new semester started. What are you gonna do? I'm go gonna to be king. Go, I... go to school, get a job. No, I'm, haven't you been paying attention? I'm gonna be king. Oh, king, king of part-time jobs. I, I feel like Junichiro's getting more and more close to actually giving Sogo shit for not actually doing anything you know what i mean yeah <laughs> that's nice i'll come back next week i'm gonna get a part-time job <laughs> <laughs> so managers beware somebody to do uh just can't wait to be king but i couldn't think of anything good enough so yeah we just saw we just saw the new trailer for the lion king movie and like everyone's fucking bitching about like how scar doesn't look like the animated scar but i'm like there's no such thing as a lion with a black mane, people. Yes, there is. Oh, are there? Yup. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'll shut up now. Mars <laughs> is staring at me and shaking his head like you fucking. You idiot. don't. You don't have to shut up. I'm just saying that there are lions with black manes. <laughs> okay. I'll find a picture of a lion. That'll learn you. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not what I meant. Also, also, we saw Timon and Pumbaa singing in the j jungle, the mighty jungle. Oh, God. Lion sleeps tonight, yeah. <laughs> Ho hopefully that's not a replacement for, for fucking Hakuna Matata, but I don't think they'd do that. Because the, the, the Lion King fans would riot. Yeah, anyways, this so... Lion just straight up, when I searched for lions with black manes, I found a lion that doesn't just have a black mane, but just straight up looks like Scar, and it's kind of freaking me out a little bit. Hmm, it's not cool. photoshopped or anything. Huh. Neat. Scar. Apparently the darker the mane, the more attractive a lion is to lionesses, which... All I know is that in the case of Scar, it's more attracted to female humans. Alright. Okay. <laughs> um, so my favorite part of the episode is... Not me, but <laughs> female humans. So my favorite part of the episode is when they pass by what was on while they're on their way... And Sogo proceeds to give him a fucking pep talk. Yeah, no, literally, he tells Wa another Wallace to get his shit together. Just being like, don't, don't give up. You like, know, you know where your enemies, you know where enemies, right? Yeah, so do a fucking better job of it. Give me a challenge, bitch. And another Wallace Because like, we'll beat you. Yeah, and another Wallace is just like, okay. Okay, I'm sorry, here, have your ride watches. 
Yeah, he's just like, here, try the... It's <laughs> almost if, what it felt yeah, like. Yeah, he's just like, if you're able to use Zeo Trinity, like, well, then I will accept everything you just said. It's like, okay. And then... But that almost makes me start to feel like his thing was, like, oh, I have to make my future happen, but oh, look, these guys are doing real well to make their own good future happen, so maybe I can just leave it to them. That's sort of what it feels like, but White Waz kind of hasn't really felt like that sort of character up to this point, so it's really hard to hit home. Yeah, it it did age. sort of feel like he took a massive swerve out of nowhere in this episode. Yeah. And again, I couldn't tell what he was saying, so... Yeah, I was kind of like, okay, so he's... What? <laughs> basically, he was like, well, the future I want isn't going to happen, so I'm going to let the world be destroyed, because I'm a whiny bitch anime movie villain... That's basically the plot of every anime's movie. The villain who hates You're the world right. because That's of the their own... You're right, most of the Pokemon movies. Like, a villain who is, who's been traumatized by their own personal history and is so angry that they just want to destroy the world. That's basically what White Waz is. So, like... Sogo tells him, That's nice, we're gonna go save the world now. If you really you don't give up on your dreams, you're gonna lose, but don't give up. <laughs> yeah, don't give up. So then, yeah, he summons the fucking monolith. Yeah, so the what happens is during the fight, another blade apparently steals the Joker genes out of Kenzaki and Hajime, uh, gathering them within herself, and because technically now there's only one Joker, this summons the fucking monolith that manages the battle royale, which is going to now end the world and reset it because now we have to start a new battle royale or whatever the fuck the rule was back whoa, in the late. Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out here. I Hi, thought Kai. Hajime is Joker. He, he he was one of the Jokers. But I thought, no, I thought he is the Joker. Yes, but the way Blade ended, Kenzaki turned himself into a second Joker so that the fight was not technically over. And the monolith would follow them if they ever got close to each other. The monolith would reappear when there was one fuck combatant left in the battle royale. No, the monolith showed up right in front of them to be like, all right, the battle will continue. But then Kenzaki punched it, it shattered, because it's like, it'll always keep showing up if we're always together. That's why Kenzaki left. Yeah, and then Hajime came back in this episode, so Kenzaki got pissed, because they, whenever they fight, they're attracted to each other, so they got back together, and... And then the fight continued, and then another blade happened and stole the Joker genes, and now there's only one Joker, so the monolith decided, yep, but battle's done, time to reboot the fucking planet. Yeah, it truly is the end of the world. Again. So, as the monolith happens, Sogo pulls out the fucking Trinity ride watch that White Waz gave to him, and lo and fucking behold, Zeo Trinity, by way of... Gates and Waz going and turning into flying wristbands with their faces on them and slooping all around Zio and just slamming themselves right on his arms. And oh my fucking god, this form is a travesty! It's a very strange form. It, I don't like it at all. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> it's very bad okay so we can see from the the, the clock s scene that they're in that they're all sharing this brain body whatever the hell they're all in the same brain in the same body what i took particular note of was that even though waz is inside of sogo he's still holding that book so now yeah, we were talking about that before how that makes it straight makes it even more likely that the book is like really connected to him or a co or he's part of it or something i am starting to really believe in my theory that waz's body is a projection from that book and he is a data clone of the original waz who was murdered by omazeo oh, i think that's the thing I will be happy if that's a thing. I love you want him to just be a book. What is this, Pagemaster? Yeah, That's really? the joke we made last week. 
He's yeah. scary. He's insane. He's my kind of Waz. <laughs> and because we technically have a new form, Waz has got an EY. No, I love Even it. Even from within. I love he it. does he... it from the inside. No, I love it. He just literally says, I know what I have to do. I know what I must do. <laughs> and then just like hold so, my, hold my book. So whoever whoever this like the pendulum is like the hand is like pointed towards, that's who controls the body. So I love it like after he wise whatever, just like it goes up to Sogo and then Sogo just kinda like points it closer to himself. He like yeah, reaches you, down and you just, kicks uh... it. That was actually and, hilarious. And then we just get that Sogo smile. I fucking <laughs> the just fucking love. Smirk. I love that smirk he has. No. Oh, okay. I got an idea for the wheel of fortune. Or I got an idea for the thumbnail. It's Wheel of Fortune. Because there's always three <laughs> players. Oh! <laughs> I love that, actually. Yeah, that's, that's, that's actually amazing. Alright, come on. Alright, alright, alright. Miss a turn. <laughs> ah! I'd like, like a Zeo, please. Uh, there are no Zeos. <laughs> <in there. laughs> we have three. We have three Zeos. We have three Zeds. Zeo, ding, Gates, ding, and Laws. Ding. Oh my god. Oh man, I all, lost my gift. All, all three riders fucking have a Z in their name. Yeah, because the show is a fucking snooze fest. Ha oh. <laughs> ha! Hey, that's mm. up for Garden to decide when mm -hmm. he wants to. Zed, the last letter. Last series of the Heisei era. <gasps> oh my god. And Kuga. <gasps> Kuga's. Ends with an A. Ends with an A. Here's the. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm sure that was not on purpose. I could just be jerking it, but... Um, but yeah, so... All pretty much Trinity fucking is, just all three of them combined. Oh, look, he can use Gates' weapon. Oh, look, he can use Waz's weapon. Oh, look, With surprising do... immediate See, mastery. now if it looked like that... That would have been awesome! That would have been badass. Just um, have a weapon all that's three other weapons? all three of the weapons. That would have been fucking awesome! See, the fan, fan artists just know exactly how to fucking make shitty forms look good. And we all know that, like, Trinity forms not gonna last forever. Oh god, no. Once There's final form shows up. Form. Nope, yeah. sorry Gates and Waz, Trinity's not happening. Yeah. What was it? Uh, but yeah, so I like to believe that when, cause like Ichi made a mention when we were watching the episode, he's like, oh, I guess he fucking Sogo mastered those weapons. And I'm like, no, 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 no. When he was using the Zekon Zax, that was Gates using it. And when he was using the Zekon the Spear, that was Waz using it. I feel like so. if that was the case, we would have seen the clock hand go over to them. Eh, it could just be the case of, oh, we're all in one body, so we share each other's we muscle memory. Mind. Yeah, exactly. We know to use that we just don't need to see it all the time. Yeah. Like, uh, I mean, if you're gonna do a gimmick to this extent, fucking go all in, you know what I mean? Fucking do it! I feel like every time a form like this happens, where there's something like this clock hand in place, they make a big fucking deal of it. You know what the pendulum did remind me of, though? It reminded me of a uh, den liner's weapon. The den common sword. Yeah, the That's den exactly common what sword. I mean. That's what I'm thinking of. Like, whatever... like, like every time it moved a face, you see in the den liner like, exactly. like, the Imogen move. That's exactly what I was thinking of, and I couldn't place it until you said it. That's why I think if it was them switching control, we would have actively seen that happen. Hmm. But it could just be a case of, oh, now that we're in one body, we share muscle memory. But yeah, honestly, I cannot wait for Grand Zio to fucking happen, because then we won't have to see Trinity ever again. You say that, but he'll be back in the movies when we run through all the forms. Just like Grateful Ghost. At least great. Mm, there we go. go. Oh, there you go. There Fucking you Psycho Gillette is the dead comment song. <laughs> Fucking Omazeo on the bottom, though. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I have to. I just. I had to post something in response to that. I apologize. Um, is it, is it pre cure? Yes. Ugh. Do we have like a pre cure sword with like all the heads on it? Not quite, but... That would be morbid, actually. <laughs> just seeing their faces like, ah! And just switch the face. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Car, that's fucking terrifying. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> um. So then afterwards, we just see, like... After another boy gets defeated, the blade and chalice ride watches spill out of it for some fucking reason. But, but yeah, yeah. So, like... Probably you mentioned it before, but yeah, so uh, Hajime and Kanzaki are now human, so that's cool. Wait. Yeah, Amane extracted their Joker genes, so I guess they're human. They don't explicitly say it, though. Wait, wait, so Blade, like Kanzaki, is human again. Yeah. He's human again. He's human again. <laughs> Thank you. 
They fixed oh the problem God. that I had with Blade's ending. Oh, okay. Oh, you just didn't want him to be a Joker ever? I just did not like the ending to Blade. And he's like, oh, I'm going to become a Joker. Like, it was a noble sacrifice. It was tragic and beautiful, and I cried. It's trying to save the world, Gar. I don't know. Maybe it's because Vice disappointed me, and then Blade's like, well, that was another fucking disappointment. I need another show. It's the biggest load of crap I ever heard. Then Hibiki happened. I love Hibiki. I love Hibiki. Hibiki is vastly underrated. Sorry for the uh, the delay on this. Um, I'm trying to find an actual picture of the item. I did. Woo. Um, but yeah, so that that was cool. That he like became human, uh, or whatever. Uh, okay, yeah, I see it. Cute, cute. It's a, it's a, it's a pinwheel. Yep. It's the symphony set. It's the pinwheel. Pinwheels like do it, do it. So yeah, <laughs> the the blade and chalice. Awakened ride watches just spill out of another blade as it's defeated for and, some and, fucking reason. Because now that we're not erasing timelines, we need, need, don't need to worry about this collecting and powering up the ride watch bullcrap from the early show too. But like <laughs> fucking god. But yeah, so then Sogo, being Sogo, like tries to give like the powers back, but then Kensaki's like, nah, if you have them, that means we won't turn to Jokers. So. And you know what? That's valid. It's for the best. Although, technically, it's not in the power set. Although, technically, they needed to be, have some level of undead DNA in them to use them, because that was how the fusion of the belts worked. So, kind of, yes, but not really, since another blade absorbed their Joker gene before exploding. But, that still... That makes me question Hajime, then, because, like, he is the Joker. You, you extract that gene, he's nothing. Now he's just the spirit undead. Oh, there you go. Okay, that's... So he's just perma-stuck as the human spirit. Yeah. And since the chalice powers are now in the ride watch, he just doesn't have access to the belt anymore to change forms. Change. So now he's just a normal human. He's just Hajime. <laughs> he's the human. He He's just... I'm Hajime, you know? I'm Hajime. He's just a gag guy. I'm white, you know? I'm white. Man, man, I wonder what, uh, oh, what was Lengel's name? What's getting me to Yeah, I wonder what he's up to now. Apparently, uh, appearing at the Common Rider Diner. Hmm. <laughs> what about Tachibata? We have fucking him. Oh, I, th I think he crying over, a... crying over Sayoko. I, I think he joined a high school or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's just in a hospital. He went to witness protection. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mr. Tachibana, but your, your body is... Heavily bore borda. Bore borda. If you haven't seen it, go see the Kamen Rider Forze net movie involving Forze oh, yeah. and Kamen Rider Garen. Because they make so many jokes about how many characters are named Tachibana. Oh, yeah. And just how many times characters actually come back. And then just like the principal looks at. Garen, he's like, man, he's familiar. Yeah. Oh, it's the principal. But no, no, it's not. My name's Tachibana. But this guy's name is Tachibana. Are you guys just... <laughs> and then Tachibana what? from Amazons. <laughs> oh, my oh my god! I just saw the picture multi-brawl post. <laughs> um, but yeah, with regards to what Lane was talking about, look up on, I think it's on YouTube, and an AMV called Uzoda Zone. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, U-Z-O-D-A zone. It's just, like, someone remixing parts from Blade into, like, a fucking, like, YouTube poop it's, song. It's based on the song Red Zone, which is, a, I think, from DDR. That's so funny. It's good. <laughs> uh, anyway, so then we get probably the most, like, emotional scene of the episode where just, like, another Wise goes to actual Wise. And he's like, yeah, I'm done. You, you win. You're you're the better was. And he's Apparently like, they were competing to see which one gets to exist. And and original was is like, you you chose me. And and other was like, yep. Yeah, I have no friends. And and you have friends. So yeah, you can exist. So even was was questioning like friends? E Y <laughs> 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 No, we just need like a fucking picture of him just with that, with that, just 
You lie. No, just, just you guys are talking about how like just, oh he like he wins and like he just or, like he just gives up. I'm just picturing that a uh, speed racer flubber uh, video of Mattel. They're just like <laughs> white was is on the ground or like no regular was is on the ground. White was like has him pinned and he's like he's about to crush him with the book and it's like I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're done. That's right. I'm done. Whips the book. I'm so, so fu- fucking done. Then you just see Kaito jump up and catch it. <laughs> Because apparently, what the end was after this whole time was White Waz's cheat shit tablet, which he gets away with scot free. Yep. But not before showing everyone a little projection of Oma Zio, who points out that Zio has six power sets left to obtain. And I just. I'm mad. So, so, left for Zio to obtain are Agito, Kabuto, Hibiki, Deno, Kiva, and Drive? But they have the Drive Watch! Gates has the Drive Watch! From the future. But then, but Obazio was showing it there, so he clearly has it, so... He, he, Oma, hasn't, no, Oma, obta- he hasn't obtained it. It could have just been a projection. But he used... Oh. Like, because I'm wondering, since, like, the decades showed up in the show, we haven't seen drive armor be a thing. So, like, did, did the writers just, like, write themselves in the corner? Oh, shit, we should have made him have the drive watch. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember when Decade first showed up, they... Didn't he destroy one of their ride watches? What, what is... Was it the drive watch? I don't think so. I remember Decade destroyed a ride watch, but I can't remember which one. It might have been he, Drive. He did? Okay, like, if he destroyed Gates' we have, Drive Watch... Because we haven't makes... seen Gates' Drive Armor in a that, while. That's true. Maybe they did destroy it. Does someone, did anyone in the chat remember what that was? And when I watch all... When oh, I no, no, it was the there. ghost one, because they had to get the other one from Takaru. Yeah. So then they should still have the Drive Watch. Exactly! So, like, I don't... May, uh, you know what? It's fucking time. Travel. I don't know why you're complaining about this, because this means we're getting a Drive Arc! We are getting a driver, which I'll be happy about, but I still want Shinosuke back. Well, he's busy being in fucking Detective Pikachu! <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's me, Dan DeVito. Hey, Detective Pikachu, the more I keep seeing for this movie, the more I'm fucking excited for it. It looks so good. Oh, the Pokemon, I'm dead! Pokemon, the Pokemon looks A-Pum. so amazing. Apom looks fucking terrifying! I'm they all like- look terrifying! I'm Pokemon not- shouldn't be this hyper realistic! Snorlax looks like a giant fluffy cat! It's amazing! It is, it's big cat. I know, but when you see them in cartoon form, it's kinda hard to see if they have fur or not. So my other question is, Deno. Did Deno not happen in the movie? Because another Deno was in the movie! There he is. Yeah, but just because another Deno's in the movie doesn't mean that, you know. So how the fuck did they defeat it then if they didn't have Deno armor? Double armor. Double armor, probably. I don't know, freaking. Look at this angel and tell me that he's bad. Just you, tell you, it to you, his face. Like, like, you got 18 riders in that Wait, movie. how is that Apon picture a spoiler? Oh, that makes sense. Because Deno was in the movie. Right. Oh, yeah, because Deno yeah. probably defeated another Deno. Oh, but, but, I no, didn't, how know, did I not think of that? I can see it. Like, he defeats him and he quotes Bubbly from Age of Extinction. I hate cheap knockoffs. Like, tosses his head. Well, I, I hope we just have an interaction with Momo and fucking Ryotaro. Just being like, oh, for sure. Ryotaro, just like one more time. Sashiguri da. Just like one more time. <laughs> This is the real final oh, countdown. Uh, Takaru Sato. <laughs> Twelve years later. Uh, apparently announced that there is two more Ryo Kenshin films coming. Of course, he fucking eats that shit up. We well, Roni cool. Kenshin. Yeah. Yeah. Two more movies. No, um. Really. But yeah. So I'm glad we're kind of like. I guess. I guess. I guess. Pretty much what Omazio was doing in this episode was pretty much yeah. Gather six more of your powers and then come at me, bro. Like, literally. I think that's what he's waiting for. Oh, he's, waiting, he's waiting to see how strong Sogo gets, and then they're just going to have this climactic fight where it's just going to be Oma Zio versus Grand Zio. And it's gonna oh, be... I actually want to see that. Right? Like, that's what I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for the final showdown between Zio and Oma Zio. I can't wait for Hibiki. I can't wait for I hope Hibiki, Hibiki actually shows up. I can't wait and... for Kiva. Hey, since Master Blue is dead and Reese Soldier, that means Hibiki can come back to reprise You know, that's probably what will happen. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is a very slim chance. I hope we get Todoroki. 
Oh, I want yeah. Awesome to come back. Like, even though his actor retired, that's what Ichi was saying. I feel it'd be like, cool if he just showed up as Hibiki, like he took over after yeah. he retired. Let's get Yuto. Let's get Yuto's the asshole. Oh, Kyoki, yeah, yeah it's Kyoki. And and then it's like, and that could lead into the Deno storyline. We're like, oh, yeah, no, we have Asumu, Kyoki, and uh, Akira as the new successors. Oh, that'd be neat. And then just Hibiki shows up at the last minute, just be like, yo. Oh, we can't have the diner though. I still, th- I'm, I'm. We can't have the restaurant. Did, they, did one of the actors die? Yeah, I'm, she, I'm yeah, still hoping. Oh. oh, you were talking was, about the movie. Okay, I, I get it. I thought you meant that the apalm picture was somehow a spoiler. Yeah, oh, I liked her. She was funny. I mean, I'd like to have Zanky come back, but he's kind of dead, so... It hasn't stopped freaking... Oh, wait, Isaac. but time travel shows, so we can come hey, back and get hey, Zanky. Hey, then we can get him back for freaking for Kiva. Kiva. <gasps> we can have... Oh, we can I have was going to say, I, I, want, I can't Jiro. wait to see what they do with Kiva. Jiro! Have Jiro and Otoya. And, and Otoya, because he's around you filming know, Greece. You, you know what? That should be the joke. It's like, all right, we need the powers of Ixa. Which one? <laughs> Naga, Toyo, your, or Jiro? Take your pick. Because apparently there's rumors that the the feet, the girl that... Yuri? Yeah, from 86 is apparently Yuri. coming back. Oh, Yuri? Cool. Yeah. Oh Maybe. my god, are we just going to travel between 2008 and 1986? I mean, might as well. That would be the show to go back to doing time travel with. Just, just, just get, yeah, just get all, like, both Ixas. Fucking Dark Kiva from the past. You just bounce between 2019, 2008, and 1986. Oh, the Kiva timeline's gonna be fun if they do it right. Oh. Another Kiva's gonna look terrifying. Oh, yeah! Wait, oh, wait a minute, guys. 20. <laughs> what, what was it? 2022 or something? For. for 20? No, uh, 2028. Kiva. New Kiva. Oh, I don't know exactly what year. Yeah. So, mm. so oh, yeah, they could have uh, Toya's actor be Masao. <laughs> Tosa! That's going to require people who make Zio to have watched Kiva and remember all that shit. I, I don't think they'll go that far. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Could you imagine what... Just another, hope Zio has an no, army of neo could, <laughs> could you imagine what another Kiva... Er, no! Another Hibiki's going to look I've been sick. saying that I want for another Hibiki for them to use the Gyuki suit that they used from Decade. Because that was Monster Hibiki. Mm-hmm. Uh, for for uh, Deno, I want new Deno. You, you know what I think they should have done for You want the... new Deno. Well, yeah, because there, <laughs> new, there's new a Kamen Deno. Rider called Kamen Rider New Deno where it's it's Deno's grandson becomes the Kotaro. new Deno. Kotaro. Yeah, Kotaro. Yeah. I know, but Emily didn't know who new Deno was. Teddy. Oh. No, she thought you said nude Deno. Oh, no, no, no. New Deno. Wouldn't that be platform? Yes. Yes. <laughs> platform, one of my favorite rider suits ever. You know what? Like, you know because what it's without any augmentation, so it would be sort of like nude Deno. Yeah, so all my figure arts are fucking platform. Deno. You know what they should have done for for these another riders? Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking about it. They should have based the design off of like the monster style from each season series. That would have been neat, but I think they did a good job anyway. I, I actually like what they did. But, but then riders. again, they did that with decades, so I'm fine with it. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, anyways, yeah, so next week we get, uh, Agito's arc, and we get another Agito's, a G3 squad. And they made mention of something about Tsukuyomi's awakening? She might become the new Agito. Kamen Rider Soup? Oh, Tsukuyomi. Oh. Yes. But, oh, hey, you said her name right. She still doesn't deserve her proper name. No, so once she becomes Kamen Rider Soup, then yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll graduate her. <laughs> Turn it. <laughs> uh, guys, Ultraman Orb is the ultimate fusion hero. We all know that. Yeah, Thunderbuster Orb will agree. <laughs> all right. Uh, what's the word? Kid boom! Oh, sweet. So, episode four of Ryu Soldier. Can I just say Bomba is my fucking spirit animal in this show? I want a gif of his face, Paul. Just just Ko and Toa are just doing the dumbest fucking shit, and he's just standing there just being face palm and being like, you guys are fucking idiots. Stop. One of the funniest things, Lane? That's me with you sometimes. 
Like I'll see you do something so stupid. It's so weird I'm that like, oh my it's God. so weird that you're synergizing with the character who's supposed to be the strong silent type when you are absolutely not. Yeah, but like he's just he's fucking cool. Bob is awesome. He, I don't care if he tried like, to kill Yui in the last you episode. Can like a, you can like a character because they are nothing like you whatsoever. No, that's fair. Or you can I really... found that to be a thing. Like a lot of the characters that I connect with closest are characters who are nothing like me. I really connect with characters who are not only like me, but literally look like me. I thought you were going to say characters who not only are like me, but like me. Don't like me. Oh. <laughs> but yes, episode four. This was a Toa episode. And now that I think of his name, now I just think of my uncle. God <laughs> damn it. Yeah. Hey, you Bio know what I'm thinking man. the whole time? You know, you know what? That's what they are now. Just Three fire Three guesses Toa. where the picture is going to be from. Uh, Bionicle Mask of Light? No, man. Bionicle 2. Legend of Me- Le- Legends of Metro- Metronui. Metronui. Yeah. Metronui Matanui. You're going to have to explain the picture. I don't know what that is. It's a freak here. But yeah, Toa. Uh, I, ro- I was not expecting a character focus episode for him yet. Like, it, it was it's kind of, it was hard kind of, to really call it a character. It, it, it's, it's more so just he kind of realized that like what the rear, uh, other rear soldiers are doing. They're like, oh, okay, they 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 know what they're doing. This is this is sort of they're not their, bad. This is the first step of their integration into the team. I'd call it. That, that, then again, we this is modern Sentai, so it has to like we we gotta pace these things a bit quicker than old Sentai. Like, do you guys know how long it took for the Go Rogers to officially join the uh, the Hurricanes? Oh. Ten episodes. Fuck. Fuck. So, two and a half months were they not like a, a full team? They were rivals. Yeah. And then two episodes later, Shuri Kenger showed up. It's like, oh no, we don't have time for that, Shuri Kenger. <laughs> yep. And then he died. But yeah, I gotta hey. say, like, I yeah. kind of am enjoying that. The attitude Toa's giving off, but he manages to complement it with some surprising oh, empathy. Spoilers, Thunderbuster. Spoilers. I'm actually watching Abba Ranger right now. Thanks a lot. <laughs> You'll forget. You I, kn- I know he's dead. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, Go Kaiser told us that. Yeah. Um. So, when the, we see a Toa and Bamba in the forest at the start of the episode... And then Bonba uses the Nobi Soul to like yank Ko out of his hiding spot in the bush. And now I'm starting to wonder like, so as Ryu soldiers, do they all have access to the same pool of Ryu souls that they can all just pull from at the same at any point? Well, there's well, just multiple ones. Well, we well we know that the Ryu souls on their side are blanks mostly, I, and when they pull them out, they become the Ryu maybe, souls. Maybe maybe what it, maybe what it is is they all have access to the Ryu souls. It's just they each have like preferences to certain ones that like you know are that, based uh, mm, that has to be it. you know what it's probably like mm-hmm. it's probably with the uh, go kaijers like belt buckle thing the ranger keys yeah. oh you just if you think right. it if you think it that one comes out yeah yeah like it's connected to like a cave or something well, of the obviously that's what it is i didn't think that they were physically keeping each reusal on them because they all use so many different ones that it's impossible to hold on to all of them mm-hmm. <laughs> but I, i'm more thinking along the lines of so, the real soul green and black, when they left forever ago, they had access to all the same souls that the red, blue, and pink ones became available to access when they started transforming. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, like, a fucking, like, I made a complaint about this last week's episode, but, like, they really kind of fucked themselves over with, like, the whole naming the Kishiryu. Cause, yeah. Like, they, it should have just been... Yeah, they acted like they all had their names already because they yeah. were like, "Oh, I see you've met." It, it should have been, "Oh, what's your name?" Rar, Tiramigo. Oh, and that's Anki Rose, and that's Troiken. Oh, okay. Troiken. That that one's name. Well, they say it Troiken. Yeah, because it's Japanese. Anyways, and, and then should have been. Oh, that one calls himself Tiger Lance. Like, it should have just been Ko can uh, understands them, and they, they said to him his name. So, uh, uh, so, yeah, the discrepancy here is that Asuna names uh, Anki Rose and Triken, and, and Ko names Tiramigo, but then... The, the other the, two had names already? 
but then the the morphers say the names as if they've been input into them. Yeah. And then when they find the green sword in this episode, it's just already named Tigerland. And then Bamba finds Mill Needle, and he's just like, "You must be Mill Needle," and it's like. They wrote themselves into a fucking corner with that, so I have no idea what to believe anymore. It, it just, Should have just been Co. Oh, your names are these. To, okay. To Tiger Land. I get that because in it's the Me- because in Megazord sequence, like it's a like it's a spear that he has, or like he turns into a lance. And, nice. It's called the lance. Oh, Hello. is it? Is it a lance? It's a lance. Yeah, he's lance. a jouster. Every boss. He's the fast boy, and he has a lance, so he's a jouster. He's the Toa of Air. And then the heater turns off. <laughs> but, is he jealous? Maybe. But it's it's re- it was really I can't inter- turn into a saber tooth tiger. It was super interesting for me once I put that together. So Toa is the fast character, the fast ranger, and his sword uses a lance. So he's a jouster, you know, which like knights. Mm-hmm. So I really picked a good character to follow in this because I've always liked you know lances and. Jousting I, attacks. If you, if you like, if you like jousting, you should watch the movie A Knight's Tale with Heath Ledger. That's a fucking good movie. Oh, Heath Ledger. Heath oh. Ledger was the main character in A Knight's Tale. Ooh. I think most of my like for jousting came primarily from the spear user from Booster Rankin. No, but honestly, dude, A Knight's Tale is such a good movie because literally, like during jousting and these jousting matches in the movie, you hear like "We Will Rock You" play. Like they use okay. like a, they use like a modern day sound music s- soundtrack for this movie, and it's fucking amazing. Uh, right. Vision's in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Paul, Paul Bentley? Yeah, he's, the, he's the naked guy, the writer. That was him. <laughs> so, yeah, um... <laughs> um, so, yeah. Let's about the Mont... The, the Minasaur? Minasaur the so, thing. okay, so the whole... The mighty the whole, Minasaur. The whole twist with this Minasaur in this episode was that... Minasaur. Oh, Minasaur, whatever. Minasaur, the Minasaur. Mighty Minotaur. The Mighty Minasaur. Minotaur. I'm just gonna call them Reptars. <laughs> the Reptar. Okay. Alright, so the Reptar of the episode... <laughs> You know what? I, I am, am Reptar. Hear me roar. I, I am, am Reptar, the king of dinosaurs. I am okay with that. I'll call them Reptars. <laughs> I swear to God, if they if they do like a green recolor of Tiramigo, we're calling him Reptar forever. <laughs> you know what? I want to buy a Tiramigo now just to get our friend Wayne to cuss with I that. mean, we're, we're getting the three knights set, but I only really want the, the blue one and the, and the red soul, so... If you want to pay your share of it, you can have Kishirio. I was just going to get my own Kishirio. Yeah, with the, uh, with the uh, green color and speed, could there be some kind of wind connection? Yeah, I know absolutely. That's oh, probably sure. on, on purpose. Oh, we did get a proper henshin for Bamba and Toa. Which was cool. Yes. So I love good. those nice chanting, but I also like that they can skip that if they want to. Oh, Dimension 7 brings up another point to Link Toa to Link. He's the hero of the wind. <gasps> yeah, no, I'm sorry. Put a fucking Link hat on him. He's Link. That's Have Ryu Soul Green do fu- like Link, yeah. Have Ryu Soul Green do fucking Skyward Strike. You know what? <laughs> I, 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 I kind of want to take the opening scene now with him and Bamba and just add Wind Waker music. Like, do 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 no, no, like just do. No, no. I was thinking the Lost Forest song from Link to the Past. When the when the reptar shows up, it's yeah, just so the, rep, like, the reptar <laughs> in this episode was fucking. No, we're we're sick. We're calling them that. <laughs> they don't have actual names. No, they don't. They're just the the minosaur. The, the reptars. <laughs> the reptars. Oh yeah. Okay. First, I want to get into this. So. I think Crayon is the... Because, like, okay, Gar was saying this to me earlier. Crayon, Hold on, right? there's gonna be, I, there's, unless yeah. they have actual names in the wiki that we can look up, what we could use to refer to them is the, the word that they keep saying. Because the first one just kept saying Ichiban! The second one kept saying Mido Mido! Gachi Gachi! And this one was Gachi Gachi! Gachi Gachi! It's like a fucking frog but thing. Yeah, uh, and yes, Ui is Navi. Ui. 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 Hey! Ui. Hey! Ui. Ui. Anyways, it's just as annoying. You were you were saying about crayon? So like. Okay. Oh yeah, I brought this. Up. Yeah, so Gar Gar was saying that like apparently there's gonna be like twelve of these fucking generals. So like, I think I think next week's episode Tank Joe is getting the axe. I just realized something. Huh? His name her his her name is crayon. Yeah. Like the drawing implement. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't pick up on that thing that fuck. creates stuff. I picked up on that. That was, that was cool. I was just looking at Creon because I'm like create, oh, but 
I, the way he just pronounced it just made me realize it's crayon. It's crayon. Cue, cue, cue the naked gun face palm. <laughs> hey, y'all are the ones who didn't know Agito's emblem was his face. Shut up. Uh, anyways, we're so, all stupid. So yeah, I think Tank Joe's gonna fucking die next. Which episode. is a shame because he's fucking badass. So, yeah, it looks like we're gonna be like okay. Of Olga, what? Olgar will explain it. Okay. So. Okay. So so we got twelve generals from what I understand, and Tank and like. 50 episode series, of course. So, do the math. 50 divided by 12. It's roughly 4.6. So, every 4 to 5 episodes, we're going to be introduced to a new general. And they're probably going to die in the span of, like, And, and then I said we'll episodes. probably have at least two of them being just, like, they last longer because yeah, they're tougher. We'll, like, we'll, ha- we'll have generals that last the entire series. And they're probably all going to be chess pieces. And they're going to yeah. betray each other. And I'm the one who got several the power. And, mm-hmm. yeah, and they'll, be the, they'll be the smart one who tries to betray everyone. Fucking Zuo draw all over oh, again. We'll have the Frieza one. Yeah. The Frieza one? No, no, no. And I'm not just saying, oh, because he acts like Frieza? No, because it's going to be Frieza's VA. Masakage. Yeah. Oh my God, I, hope, I hope. No, and then we'll have the female one who just sounds like every other fucking female general in Sentai <laughs> ever. No, not even that. Just like or it'll be Romy Park again. With low voice, like fucking Naria, oh. um, Isarn. Yes. Like they all fucking sounded exactly goddamn same. Yes, my boss. I, I want fucking um, I want Romy Park's actor. That's to come what I was saying. Ro- Romy Park is the actor name. I know, but I'm saying <laughs> I want the girl who played Romy Park. You know what I meant. I want, I want Dayus. I was trying to remember her name, Dayu. Can we quickly look in the group chat? Oh yeah. As it was earlier, <laughs> final phone an ride. Just, just an and then he just kicks the orange at the enemy like a soccer ball. Fuck! That's funny. But yeah, just I don't know why, but this this reptar, this episode, <laughs> the the clank reptar, the one that had fucking water gun hands. Yeah, it reminded me of that manatee one from Luke and Ranger and Pat Ranger. People in the in the Discord yeah. have been talking about that all this week too. Dugong manatee. Yeah. Dugong manatee. That's is it right. Dugong or something? That was manatee? a good name Both. too. He's Pope. not as He's weird all... as the salmon Christmas monster though. He's oh, God. okay. So d- did anyone else have the same problem that I've been for the past few episodes, where it just feels like it's just the concept of the episode's been rinse and repeat, just. I mean, welcome the, to Sentai. The no, reptar, no, uh, but like no. the reptar shows up. Uh, they fight. They fight it for a bit. They get their asses kicked. They fight it again. Tank Joe. Tank Joe shows up. They fucking kick, yeah, kicks yeah, their yeah. asses. Yeah, you know what? Rose yeah. big. Episode. They fight it. They beat. They use new powers. And they beat it, and it's done. Episode. Yeah, you know what? I kind of agree with Wayne there. Episodes two to now kind of all feel the same. I mean, we are still in what I'd call setup. Well, yeah, but it's like holy shit, holy fuck, that please, <laughs> that's good fan art. That's fucking god. Wow. Dino Super Knight. <laughs> Dino Super Knight. Oh god, no! <laughs> oh, Don't ruin it. Oh, no. <laughs> I just did. <laughs> but, um, so, anyways, with regards to what you're saying about the episode format, I am. <laughs> There's the end of the night. Okay, so. We touched on this last week, and oh, yeah, this. it seems to still be a thing, and it's really, really making me scared. The fact that the monster just grows big without being hit by finishers. I actually really like that. I think that's a really neat twist instead of just having, they fight it in ranger form, and then they knock it down, and then they make it big. Like, that's, I, I kind of like the idea of it being able to get big at any time without them knowing. Which means we'll be surprised when they, if they defeat a reptar without it growing. You know what it could be? Once the other two Ryu soldiers are like properly integrated into the group, they'll come up with like a team finisher attack and manage to kill a reptar without it growing big. <laughs> That's the reason. Old. Reptar. <laughs> Fucking reptar. We're calling them reptars from now on. You're welcome. It's in our can, guys. Reptars. No, get that off the screen. Get that shit off the screen. Why is Jeff Winger a Power Ranger? Yeah. <laughs> But, Cat looking at fish. But the whole issuing of the team finishers in lieu of having the monster's growth be part of the plot, I appreciate that we're, once again, trying something new and different in a Sentai series, but removing team finishers or finishers of any kind for ranger combat, 
was absolutely not the thing to take out. Well, well remember, the, the writer and producer this season aren't, you know, they don't do Sentai. You'd think someone on the staff would have told them, though. <laughs> well, That's like saying taking out the fucking henshin. Well, it's to, like, it's to, you know. I don't think it would be quite that. Big well, I'm exaggerating, obviously, but... Like, it's to... Oh, look at all these. Super real soul blue. That's what I fucking want. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, like, I think it just, you know, for this being the fourth, you know, dinosaur-themed Sentai in the row. Or, not in the row, but, like, fourth dinosaur-themed <laughs> Super Sentai series. They want to be a bit different. Like, like hey... We're different because we didn't do this, or like we did this. But there's so many other ways and places and aspects that they could have chosen to be edgy with. Taking out finishers, I feel like was the wrong move. Well, it's to change the pace of the episode. I miss having but like, like that way we can get that way we can quickly get straight to the point. Megazord fight. I miss cannons. I miss having like Sentai, Sentai right cannon. I mean, we I haven't think, had that since fucking Tokyo. I, I don't think a cannon would fit oh, into oh, this series. Oh, all the signature weapons becoming like a blaster. Yeah, that was so cool. I feel like for this series, it should just be a giant sword because they're knights. No, like, bow and arrow. Like, the thing about That'd the, be cool the, too. The thing about the Sentai cannon was like it was like the, a symbol, a symbol for like all, you know, like the, the, all they're them coming up. together. Yeah, especially in like older Sentai's when it like was fucking, just a giant like, fucking. Cannon. Sea Ranger was fucking awesome with it because like their that formation was always so cool, and then like the Red Ranger would bring it down after combining the weapon, they'd just be standing there holding it and just boom, just howling cannon fire. The Gekki Ranger cannon was fucking sweet. Like mm -hmm. oh, I like think. Bring back Sentai Cannons! The Kentra Spiker was amazing. I will always I still... I was thinking, today, I was looking at old Super Sentai stuff, and I was thinking <laughs> to myself, why did they not have their own weapons anymore? It's Money. Too, yeah, it's too, too expensive. It's too... They don't sell well. I will always say this, the Imagination Cannon is the most powerful Sentai Cannon of all Imagine time. Imagination! You can make anything with it. I, I imagine a nuclear bomb! <laughs> Wait, what? No! What? Uh, anyway, so, yeah, so, we find out, we, like, like to think that this reptile, whatever, oh, it's child, it's based off a child. No, it's based off a dad. Although, like, I was watching the episode, and I, I absolutely have no justification for why, but when I saw them there, I immediately decided that the monster was coming from the father. I don't know why I thought that, but I'm like... Oh, I so thought it's... it was as well. I, I didn't realize that was meant to be a twist until... They said, oh, it's acting childish, and I thought, oh, so maybe it's the kid instead? Maybe it was because you thought it would probably be too obvious if it was the kid. Maybe. Yeah. So you're like, you know what? I'd like it if it was the dad. No, because, like, the father's clearly worried about his son, and so far the monsters all haven't spawned off people worrying about shit. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, it must be about, it must be from the father worrying about his comatose son. Right, I'm just thinking, the son's name was Yuta. Yep. Now I'm just thinking of SSS Gridman. I'm sorry I went on that business trip for months. <laughs> what happened? Oh, God. You became a superhero? Oh, that's cool. You stabbed? Oh. Or you got stabbed by a fucking exacto knife? Okay. You fucking pussy. <laughs> so, on the ranger side, the plot of the episode is Toa and Bonba are looking for their Kishiryu. And Ko shows up with a map he stole from Ui's dad. Uh, that, 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 that. He borrowed aggressively yeah but just uh, by force so, yeah so oh, oh, oh obviously when like when ko and toa decide to have their duel like it's like really funny because like the scene like oh, just like, like getting ready like, like they got their swords in their hands and they like look really intense and then they like lash at each other they slash and they make shapes out of leaves I would never in a million fucking years have seen that come. I, I thought that was funny because, like, like, I thought the leaves were falling for a dramatic effect. Being like, right? all right, all right, raise the leaves. When the leaves the pass our eyes, we we'll attack. Clash. And it's like, then they run back over, and I'm like, wait, are they putting the leaves back together so you can do it the fastest? It's a bunny! Two businessmen exchanging business cards. Mine's cuter. What yeah. the fuck? Yeah, but mine's, mine's more noble. Well, and, and, and Did just, you agree what the terms of the contest was? Was it supposed to be cutest, or was it supposed to be most noble? Or I, I what was discussed? I, I think it was meant to be like the most unique design that they could do with like a leaf that big. And it was just—it was just annoying. And also, thing. why do knights? 
have like ninja style high speed high accuracy leaf cutting abilities that doesn't seem like something because, within the wheelhouse of a knight because it's japan not to be racist but it's because it's japan um but yeah and then just like it's, <laughs> it's great when racist. it's great crayon does one of the greatest fucking things ever because they're trying to get at, at her i will just spend the rest of this year just crayon <laughs> her name's crayon i was just thinking yeah, crayon is a girl. crayon is a girl apparently uh, but so Crayon does this amazing fucking thing because like they're trying to attack her and so she's like okay fuck you goes under this play structure summons all of her mooks to just stand in a singular line in front of her <laughs> so they can't get to her and I'm like yeah try me now fuckers and I'm like I, 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 she's smart you know I find that the funniest because they started off with like the whole leaf thing and it's like okay rock paper scissors and it's like oh, oh yeah. of course it just ends in a fucking junkin oh wait a reptar showed up. I, okay, I, whoever I can get their it. quickest wins. <laughs> then it's like, oh, they get there at the same time. Okay, whoever can beat the most mooks can win. And it's like, oh my goodness, they're just, they just keep continuing this freaking battle or like this, the, um, like this contest. At the beginning, when they did the uh, leaf cutting contest, if you look in the background, um, Riesel Black does like the best face palm. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, again, I need that as a gif. Where he's just like, oh my god, I can't believe oh, what this. What the fuck are you guys saying? I absolutely And then, and absolutely then when, the, when the raptor shows up, like, Toei uses the highest soul to, like, uh, go faster. And then you just see Bomba just kind of, like, sprinting behind him, just be like, oh, catch up. <laughs> just, like, they both just book it, and you yeah. see Bomba just lightly jog there. Just... Oh, so during the roll call, so what's what's uh, Toa's? He's the Knight of uh, Haste? Knight of Haste, I think. And then, um... Thomas was, I think, Knight of Valor? Under no, no, Blood. Valor was Reds. Oh. Glory. Glory. Knight of Glory, yeah. I love those. I love the roll calls. Fire oh, within me! I love it no. when characters have the blank of something as their descriptor right? in any show. Oh, oh like in Zoo with the flowers. champion. <laughs> the, where, where they all have Zuo. titles that have a shared structure. Yeah, Princess of the Stars. And, and then you just have the Sentai's where there is none. It's just me red power me of the sun yeah. solaris night magic shine Ooh. oh yeah magic ranger had that too we need a lightning collection solaris night figure i got him up yeah, probably yeah. that'd be nice no you Blue know centurion please you know what we need if we're if we're getting a solaris night we need a jinxy finger you can't have him without Jinxie. I better get my Blue Centurion figure. I need my Robot Cop Boy. Oh, he'll probably come out next year. You know what the funniest thing is about reading over my notes about this Ryu Soldier episode? At least three different points, my notes say that someone tells someone to fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Toa tells Ko to fuck off. <laughs> Crayon tells Toa and Ko to fuck off. And then Bonva tells the others to fuck off. It's like so park, yeah, so then they decide to work together to go find the temple, which like they do, they find the temple, and then it's like okay, I'll try to use the float soul to like float the rocks away or whatever like that. Nope. Like the, the nope doesn't work. Apparently, the so, temples are resistant to their so own they, new soul powers. So they go summon Steeramigo to fucking try to take it down. Break it fucking down. He's unsuccessful. I guess it just resists its own new soul. Like magic. I, I looked over at Yuichi, and you're just like oh. The giant fucking Tyrannosaurus Zord couldn't knock down this I fucking love, rock I structure. I love how he can just shake the styrofoam rock a little bit. And then right? you just see Tiramigo just be like, Tira! Like, you're so, oh, so, no, so no, sad. Bad like, oh, reptile. Oh. I, love the, I love it when the Zords are actually alive, so I'm really happy to finally officially watch a season where that's the case. I can't wait to see just, Ko teach him Japanese. Bad reptile. Well, wait, what? I have an obvious answer. You're all not worthy. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, that's a uh, question I don't want to answer. Um, so yeah, so then like Tank Joe shows up, he fucking <laughs> surprise, Tank Joe. <laughs> yep, surprise, <laughs> motherfucker. Um, yeah, and then they realize with the with the reptile, they're just like, oh, we just let's let's play with them. He's like, he's like a. It's like a, we'll, we'll play with them like Well, they don't realize kids. that until they're in the middle of the Zord fight. Yeah, so Bamba's about to kill the fucking dad because he's like, oh, we better do it. And Toa's like, no, 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 
like that. What's surprising is Toa stops Bamba from stabbing the dad. Yeah, and which later Bamba goes up to him. He's like, I'm surprised you told me not to kill him. And he was I, like, but I wanted to stab him. He's like, he's like they're, growing, they're growing on me. This is, this is so unfortunate, and I apologize for interrupting. But the phrase stabbing the dad puts a very bad visceral reaction in me, and I don't know why. It just sounds like it means something really terrible. Like, Almost worse like, than actually stabbing someone. I was gonna say, stabbing the dad is pretty terrible. Yeah, I know, but it's just, that, oh god, like, I can't hear that phrase again, no. Now, Congrats, you stabbed my dad! Now I'm just thinking Bamba would be a perfect candidate for Batman. <laughs> I am Bomb Man. No, wait, that's... I am no. Bomb Man. He is the Dark Knight. I am Reptar. He is the Dark Knight! He is the Black Ranger. <laughs> Who are you? We I'm should bad. go to medieval I'm times Bama. and do yeah. a Bama, Bama, Bama. Bama. Yeah. That's not like a joke we should. Do what? Go to medieval times as like a Ryu soldier joke. I love the I love the fucking vine where it's just like I this, uh, love medieval times. I love this vine where this bat guy in a Batman costume just goes up to his cat. Where's the cat nip? And then you just see the cat going. And they're like, oh. <laughs> Um, yeah, so they, they, they play a tag with them and stuff, and even, like, I love that Austin is being, like, the realistic one, just being like, are we fucking playing tag with it? Like, the fuck? <laughs> and then, yeah, so they summon, they find Tiger Lance, they summon him, they be- he becomes, uh, Kishirio Tiger, Tiger Lance. Lance. Creative name. Which, like, it's cool looking. I'm, I think they should have called it, like, Kishirio Green Knight. Mm-hmm. Or Lance. Or I'm thinking, or Joust. Like, I was thinking, wait. Shouldn't it be called Four Nights? I'm like, oh wait, not, no, because it would just be like blue and pink are only on the shoulders. There, their their full swords aren't part of the formation. Which that's one thing that I kind of want to nitpick about. Like, no, yeah, I don't like it either. No, like, not that. Just how uh, blue and pink don't really have are, are still in the cockpit, even though they're not part of the formation. No, no, yeah, they are. They're still a bit a only blue. on the little tiny shoulder chunks. It counts. No, it like, shouldn't. It's weird how we're getting the that auxiliary sword first as like the next attachment before like like Kishiryu like Ankyloros or uh, Kishiryu. Oh, I, oh, so you're yeah, we're getting the green form before the blue or pink form. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, I oh, agree with you on that. Right. We know that they're gonna happen because we've seen them in the toy scans. Mm-hmm. So yes, I completely agree with you. So yeah, it was, it was pretty cool, and then. <laughs> Pom was just like he's uh he sees like the the dad like wake up and just be like oh son I love you and then he just like turns to him he's just like love your son play Bye. with your fucking son or I'm gonna stab you go fuck yourself he just <laughs> walks away <laughs> just oh thank you Wait, well, you're not my kid well like in- <laughs> well, okay seriously Bamba says to him he's just like he's like family's important like always treat your family which like, obviously right. means that he's Parents some, dead yeah they've got some family trauma, family trauma of their own totally yeah, well yeah well because as we heard like a description of Palmer's character is that he got betrayed and, betrayed. The he, and the only person he trusts is toa did so, i mention i'm betrayed because it was really funny that like when they went to split up to look for the temple like asana was with bomba and i'm just like why right and asana's trying to like like just put You're a conversation. You're in the middle of the parking lot. Ah, so you really get along with your brother Toa, huh? And he's just like concentrating on trying to find a thing, and then it's like, well, the temple's around here somewhere. Where? We're in a fucking parking lot. Yeah. It, it could, it could I, be buried. I was about to say my immediate assumption is that it was underground. Yeah. Like it is a ruined. Temple. When we see him talking to Millneedle at the end, they're clearly underground somewhere. Yeah. Oh, I'm. Right? It looks like Helheim. Um, but yes. Yeah, so, parking center. To- to- Toei Company's backyard. So then they celebrate with some curry, and then uh, the father comes home, and he's like, You put your pot of curry on my fucking months of paperwork, you assholes! Uh, Get the fuck out! Oh no, you just can't print off another piece of the paper. Maybe, Maybe that was I, stuff I, he had written notes yeah, on. Yeah, it got like ruined, because it was like, written notes. It looked like typed out notes, I'm like, I don't know. Maybe you were just looking too close. He was upset about it, though. Also, can no, I say... I, no, that... I feel like their, like their introduction in the episode was for nothing. Because yeah. they did nothing. Well, because we already had an episode about them last week. Exactly. So, so it's like, well, why are... Like, it felt like they were forced in at the very last minute. Also, can I say how fucking hilarious it was when Bonba goes to talk to Mill Needle and apparently Mill Needle sounds like a fucking truck. <laughs> he just honks at him. <laughs> 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 What kind I of fucking love. 
a, a, a certain breed of Stegosaurus. Hey, hey Bamba. Because he alarm. also looks like an Ankylosaurus. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it, I forget the exact... It starts with Mill, but I forget the... I think it's like Mirosaur, or I forget the exact thing, but it is a type of Stegosaurus. Fuck, I miss Science with Saga. Yeah. It's fair enough. I like. I know a lot of dinosaurs. For some reason, that one just. For some reason, I. I you don't can know. check the wiki. It'll say. Yeah. Uh, um. So yes. Uh, I love that. So they they get the, all the paperwork dirty, and my immediate response is, "What is there? No like cleaning soul that they could use?" Oh, the that's fucking, a good point. The so. fucking gimmicks do fucking everything in this series. No, they'll blow their cover. The Mister Sparkle Soul. Mr. Blow Bob. their cover! Yui is filming them and putting them on YouTube! Can't put two and two together. Yeah, it's like it's like a Shazam. Oh yeah, yeah. multi multi brawls mentions it's a it's a Miragaya. Miragaya. type. That's a cool name, actually. <laughs> that is the coolest dinosaur name ever. Fuck it, now I'm definitely buying Mill Needle. I'm also buying Mill Needle. It's fucking awesome, dude. Well, I'm gonna buy Oh, Pat Kaiser. No, <laughs> just, oh, just, oh, okay. just buy like the previous season shit. Okay, if you want to. Sure, whatever. Anyways, uh, so next week apparently they're going to dual tank Joe, which means he's probably going to die, as so you predicted. Di- no, no, you know. Okay, this is my second theory. If he doesn't die in episode five, incapacitated, he's going to come back in the next episode, and they're going to form Kishiru Five Nights. Maybe. Oh yeah, All that's five what they're together. Yeah. <laughs> what? Wow! <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Kishiru of Five Nights at Freddy's. Go home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I'm, I'm going to have to Photoshop the animatronics heads onto the game. I also, you go home. <laughs> okay, that's fair. <laughs> Uh, I am see, home. So, so, good. Stand there. So so next week, go go to your closet. And I'm yeah, also, in my room. and also um, I'm already in my closet. And also next week we get to see Kishi Ryo Mill Needle, which looks what Mill Needle. It's not a damn Pokemon. Tiger one. Akira, Tiramigo. Tiger. You're all idiots. It's a me, a Mario. That's a me, the guy apparently. It looks craptastic. Look at its butt. Uh, I'd yeah. rather not. So, so probably Tank Joe's gonna die, Ichi. I'm sorry. Tank Which Joe's is a shame because he's fucking awesome. Another one butts dust, and another one gone, and no, another no, one that's... gone. Another, another one butts dust. No, 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 that's like no, the Dodorio version. I'm gonna get you too. Oh, no, 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 I, I like all the joke. I like all the jokes with Deadpool dressed up as Freddie Mercury when everyone's like being decimated by Thanos. Like, like, he's just singing the song, it's like, you're not fucking helping. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on to this feature topic. I, uh, didn't watch this, so I think I should probably leave. Or you can stick around and listen to how fucking batshit insane this show was. The year... Was 1980. I'm gonna go get some water and then come back and be in, in situ as to what's going on. Okay. okay. Alright, so the Thank sto- you so much for having me on the show despite my incredible stupidity. I mean, we're, we're all stupid. No, you're not. You're not at all. Yes, I am. Stupid. Don't even start. Can I get back stupid. to my. Stupid. Can I get back to my. I'm so stupid. Let Gar do his intro. Oh, no. Eli! Uh, oh, oh, he just hit me. It's 1983. <laughs> it's the year 1983. Sentai and Metal Hero is kind of popular. So it's, oh, boo hoo, so, 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 <laughs> so the people at Toei were like, hey, let's do another franchise and see if it goes anywhere. So Shotaro Ishimori did up the designs for the series. Yeah, he, didn't make the, he didn't make the series. Yeah, he didn't write it, he just did the designs. Which is for, funny for because this thing looks like they kit bashed Kamen Rider Burst see, and the Mega Astro Mega Ship. I get to see Toy. Oh, uh, Mr. Shimori, you, you create you created the design for Mishima. Would you like to help like write the series? Did, Fuck no. Did you watch Kamen Rider Amazon? Uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, Offer no, withdrawn. No, no. Would you like to write this? Can I make another Kamen Rider series? No. 
No. Oh, fuck off. God, no. <sighs> yep. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Wait. Right. I need to read the description for fucking Machine Man because this right. is. This so yeah, it, we're talking about the first three episodes of the 1984 series, Nebula Mask Machine Man, aka Saiyan Kamen Machine Man. Machine yeah. Man. So, Machine Man. So usually what I do for Metal April is I marathon the entire show to get the idea of what this show is. I don't think I could handle this entire show. Unfortunately, I was gone for like five days and i didn't have time to download and watch all the episodes in time because i thought we were recording on saturday mm. instead of today so yeah i did i only watched the first three episodes unfortunately captain day job over here I'm sorry i don't want you for this to happen it just happens we, you know. anyways so fucking strap yourselves in people because this is an amazing plot so, traveling in the spaceship space colony, the alien Nick. Why with, does the alien just have a normal ass Earth name? With the with the help so... of his ball shaped robot, Ball Boy. You wanna know why? Ball his, Boy. You wanna know why his name's Nick? Because it's foreign in Japan. You know what? That's actually a really good explanation. <laughs> Arri <laughs> arrive on Earth to study the behavior and manners of human beings for his. Doctoral degree thesis. He's a space college student doing overseas studies for a thesis. Over space studies. Over spit over the galaxy. Seas of space. Space is a sea is what I meant. Space. So Fucking he under the human identity of a young man named Ken Takase. Superman. He meets Maki Hayama, a photographer at the Shukin Hit newspaper, and later saves her from a building fall. Don't worry, I got you. You got me! Who's got you? Uh, okay, so, about that. so, so, yeah, so, did, like, long story short, this guy's an alien from, what was the plant's name he's from? Ivy. Yeah, plant Ivy. Get it? Because he's from an Ivy League school! Oh, so yeah, from the plant Ivy in the, what system was it? I don't know. Like Acadia? M78? No, we don't Oh, Pleiades. Plant. He's the Pleiades Star Cluster. Pleiades Star Cluster. And so, yeah, so he has this little robot named Ball Boy. Who, it's just this baseball with fucking anime eyes, and like, I'm not even fucking cute. Like, and like, like gimmicky fold out Ball limbs. Boy? Oh my god, I gotta show you Ball Boy, Emily. You're gonna fucking. You're gonna Why does an alien from not Earth have a robot designed after a fucking baseball? Why Which... does an alien Time Lord have a British accent? Lots of planets have a north. Lots of planets have a north. Yeah, I was. <laughs> exactly, but. Okay. I, I looked at this ball. Okay, so, put a picture of him like with his limbs out. Yeah, no, I am. So, and you'll know why I looked at so this, this thing and went, so this, "Hi, Jim Carter." This is Ball Boy. He's a Bakugan. <laughs> it's a fucking. Where's Blaze? It's a fucking base baseball. He's a Bakugan. Is so perfect. I want to see. Ball Boy, brawl. <laughs> ball Boy, stick. Oh, I know the Q Ranger. Oh my god, he's adorable. I know the Q-Rangers played baseball. That was the best episode of Q-Ranger ever. Because they went to Earth! Yeah, it kind of does uh, look like the, the warrior wheel. Because they had spent a lot of time on Earth before playing baseball, so it makes sense that they would have heard of it by then. Yeah, so that's fucking Ball Boy, and like, yeah. So he has no mention, there's no baseball mention of baseball. You know what it is? Huh? I bet you Ken is like an Earth otaku. He's like an Earth weeb. He just has a toy, a robot ball, because he loves Earth stuff, even though he's never been there before. Oh, 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 it's like how we have toys from Japan, and oh, then we all, and people go on trips to Japan. Oh, oh my goodness, guys. He's an Earth guys, weeb! Guys, you're gonna love this song. I want everybody to say about the... No, Nick. No. No. He's oh. a weird the moon. <laughs> and then, okay, Earth then we have to quickly get into this, so... Then there is the evil organization Tentacle. Oh my run, fucking run, god! Run by run by the evil Professor K, who apparently has an allergy to children, hates children with a fiery passion, and wants to do anything in his power. He has an to, allergy to children. To like children. How? Like I, I don't know, but they make him sneeze. He has nightmares about children and wakes up sneezing, even though there are no children near him. And he like watches oh, them. 
this? Yeah, and he watches them in, in his lab, which, like... It he, goes full creeper mode. Like, like he has several monitors yeah, like, that he watches yeah, children and, through and he's like, every he's episode. He's, like, painting, and then he has a, a robotic what parrot. Professor K. Yeah. And then he has a robotic yeah, parrot that's... for a pet, and it speaks fluent Japanese, and it's just... Oh, my God. Not the one from Jet Set Radio. <laughs> or the one from Power Rangers RPM. Oh my god, so, but anyways. Or, so... or Professor K, the technology professor on Udemy. So, yeah, so this guy, like, fucking land, like, lands in, in, in a lake, and then he or just, the like... Trapper. Yeah, and then we get this amazing, funny fucking effect of just him, like... Getting out of his ship running, and running, running along the water. The and it's just him on in front of a green screen <laughs> of a lake, and just him going, like... <laughs> I, wish, I wish we had a gif of this. It's, it's so, so funny. It's so fucking bad. That, that laugh sounded exactly like that Arctic Fox video. It, it, even by show standard, it's so fucking bad. It's so funny. This Arctic Fox, listen, it's, this is an Arctic Fox. Yep. Here you go, Ichi. You sound like an Arctic fox. That's probably the best compliment I've ever received. I mean, my, my favorite Arctic animal, foxes are cool. My favorite animal noise of all time will always be a screaming goat. So I, mean, I loved it in the Grinch movie. My favorite oh, animal noise is a lot. cold, la- hard ground. <laughs> my favorite animal noise is. My favorite animal noise is a laughing Rich Evans. I mean, <laughs> your laugh once reminded me of uh, Grisa. Wayne gets that now. Okay. Look up Grease, everybody. Really Bolton. All right, so let's get into it. So, for some unknown and not as as of episode three, completely unexplained reason, this space college student who has come from Planet Ivy to study Earth for his college thesis somehow can transform into a fucking superhero named Machine Man. Don't know how. Uh, you, you, know, you know what I want to say? Since he goes to college, it's probably that school uniform. Is he, just, is he the mascot for his school? That's what the M stands That's- for. <laughs> He's the mascot. That would be amazing. Oh He's the God. mascot for the baseball team. That's why he has ball boy. Like, he's such an earth weave that he started a baseball club at his school, and that's, like, the mascot uniform, and it just came with powers, yeah, yeah, because it, that's how their society works, so I you, guess. Look at Man of Steel. What does the S stand for? It's not an S. On my, on my home world, it's a symbol for hope. It's a fucking S. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so apparently, apparently later the, there's a succeeding organization to Tentacle just called Octopus. Yeah, of led course. By, led by Lady M, the niece of Professor K, who made her appearance in episode 20 after her trip from Spain. She renovated Tentacle's headquarters to form <gasps> Octopus. Oh, okay. Yeah, I found the rest so of the body. So it's just an episode of While You Were Out? So, anyways, you meet the lowest lane of this fucking. Like, this, this, Mark, this, this, this is, this is Toy's attempted to Superman. Hey, remember how we did Spider Man? You said lowest lane. Hey, lowest. No, because it's literally. I'm a machine man. This is, this is fucking <laughs> Superman. Just a Japanese tokusatsu like, representation of Superman. Not like, lowest lane, but lowest lane. Like, here's the thing. Lowest rain. At, when, we, when, we, when we see him land on the planet. He already has a humanoid body, but for some fucking reason, he feels the need to literally Superman disguise himself by putting on glasses. Yeah. And I'm just like, why, though? No one knows who you are, and when you're transformed, you have a mask on. So what the fuck is with the Superman glasses? And, like, he has superhuman strength and stuff, because, like... Maybe the yellow sun weakens him, and he can't see properly. Then they would be sunglasses. (laughs) <laughs> so like okay like we'll, we'll try to go through these as fast as we can but like the, like the second episode is the fucking tree like it's the best one you know the third what? episode was the weakest you know, let's just talk about the sec let's just talk yeah, about yeah let's just go to the second episode because like this is fucking amazing so <laughs> so the second episode of this ep- of this whole series uh, 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 granted they can't you can't do this the, nowadays no, I don't think nowadays. any show would do so, what this show's done anymore these days so he so Professor K wakes up from a nightmare and he's like oh my god I had a nightmare of these fucking kids. It's making me sneeze. I need to cure my child allergy. Well, I heard that if I extract children's tears, I can turn them into this 
rainbow colored diamond and that'll prevent me from having said nightmares of children hence curing my allergy what was he gonna do with what the is diamond the logic here so he, like, he stick has it in these, his fucking head so he has these two scientists who he's mind controlled to be evil go out kidnap kids like literally go out chloroform these fucking kids you literally see men pull up in vehicles jump out W cover kids' mouths with chloroform napkins and fucking yoink them out of the middle of the street. Uh, and then, and then, like, holy like, fuck! I don't trust adults anymore. Last adult came to me, he showed me a piece of paper with a kid on it, being like, "Do you know this boy, John Carter?" <laughs> and then, and oh, oh previous, they Honor. they yeah, they Honor. program this telescope to, that looks to watch UFOs with. That they look and try to look through the telescope, then they get sad and they cry, and then that's they get the tears. Like, but then, oh so then they take God. this little girl, they strap her to this fucking chair in this machine, and they put this machine on her, and then they just play her a video of showing her mother and like the mom's like oh hello and she's like oh mama mama you're like before and she's getting violently run over run over by a car dying and then the girl's just like mama mama and just crying crying and crying and crying and just oh my fucking god and it's just it's it's awful it's fucking awful. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. I have not seen a show do anything like this before. D -d this is fucked up on so many levels. Yeah, like, you can't do this nowadays. And this happened I mean, several could, times. I but everyone would be questioning but you, Yeah, so, like, <laughs> just Machine Man, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, he has a beam that can change people with the, evil the, hearts the, the, to nice. The catharsis wave. Oh, my That's God. what they call it. There is so much that we're not touching on talking about. Oh, let's talk about Dolphin Cooker. Oh, yeah, his car, do his space car Dolphin. Yeah, his space car slash jet slash transformation device. Yeah, so he transforms with a car. You know what? I actually kind of like that. It, no, it's I, cool. What The one part of it that I found was kind of stupid was when he's driving it in car mode, his face is like down he can't see oh, where yeah. he's driving it's, it's like a it's, it's like, like an indian right it's like a, it's like an extension of himself a formula racer yeah like a formula racer right like he's low in the ground because there are vehicles that do right but i will there. say that when it switches to jet mode it's fucking awesome oh yeah i like the effects except for like ichi kept getting like disoriented by like the the, the yeah whatever they do the like really fast triple zoom in effect yeah that it, was, it actually made me sick that was the thing in the 1980s with Tokusatsu shows, they would show things three, like, three times in a row, like, at the same speed. When I saw Sun Vulcan, that made me sick. I was like, Whoa. Um, but yeah, and just, like, so he has interesting text. Like, he has a fencing, like, a rapier, which is cool, which, like, he can use it to, like, lift thing objects up in people. He has a like, barrier that protects people. It lights up and he turns into fucking Gavon. And he has something called the Exceed he turns Punch. Into Gavon. Like, yeah. he does the exact same sword moves it's like Gavan like, does. It's called, like, the Exceed Thunder? Or the Rolling Thunder? Machine Thunder. Machine Thunder. And Machine then, Thunder. And then he just has Exceed Punch, which is him just doing a jump punch. Um, and then just, yeah, and so, like, the new the newspaper lady, like, Lois, Lois Lane or whatever like that. Maki. Yeah, she, she's just, like... She mentioned he mentions to her that, like, oh, you're Tomboy, like, well, you... And stuff, and then, like... She's, like, really, like, like, how they meet or whatever like that. Like, he makes her crash her car into, like, a ditch or whatever like that. And, like, her wheel's stuck between, like, a road. Because he didn't curve. know what a red light was. Yeah, and she's like, are you fucking stupid? And he's like, eh, eh. So then, like, I'm well, not from here. So she, she, he brings, like, a fucking, uh, like, she, she brings over a mechanic or whatever to, like, go look at it or something. And like, I immediately predicted that he just lifts the car out of the ditch. Car, and then he's like, hey, you must be crazy, lady. There's nothing wrong with your car. And he's like... Did you, you fix do that? It? And he's like, no. No. And she doesn't immediately follow up with, well, what the fuck happened? It's clearly not where it was before. She just decides to forget it and go on about her goddamn day. Yeah. yeah but just in the second episode, though, it's like, Yes, hey, a villain I'll... trying to gather tears for said villain's happiness. Does this sound familiar? Yes, it does. Yeah, I bet. The, the, the samurai villains. Oh. The Nylock. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And the worst part is I don't know which example you're talking about. There are many examples. <laughs> there are a few. Um, the land without and, and then there's like the, the monsters. Which, no, there's like, there's Drill Man. 
Yeah, it's episode Drill one Man. was Drill Man. Episode two was Hammer Man. And then the what is this fucking fourth, Mega Man? Fourth, fourth, ep- fourth episode apparently we got Axe Man. Jump and shoot man. Because like the, the third episode was actually Jump inter- and shoot man. So, so so the third episode was actually interesting because they actually like mind controlled this human like because like it was a pretty sad story too because like. So the like D- Professor K has this thing called a crime helmet where like the put, crime like, helmet. So if, you, if a human puts <laughs> on this crime helmet, then they start like you know they're mind controlled, and Professor K can tell them to do whatever they fuck they, they want. And he persuades this man whose name is Oshita because oh shit, so, uh, and he's this uh, ugly fucking guy like he's this, this long, big like, hulking hair, dude who's... missing some teeth, and, and he's, he's just, like and he convinces him to put on the crime helmet and and do crime. Because, because he's paying him, which he was using as money for his son's, son's leg surgery. surgery. Leg surgery so his son could walk again. Which, you know, it's pretty... You know what? That's an understandable and acceptable motivation. But just when you add in the fact that he's being paid to put on the crime helmet, it kind of just, like, oh, and, okay. Like, it was, we got this weird shot where he like, puts on the crime helmet and then shows like a inside of his face and he's just like he's like ah, ah. you see his face twist and get eye shadowed and such yeah <laughs> and so Crimes. so he's like attacking oh yeah okay sorry I gotta go back to the first episode so for, Professor K's plot in the first episode is to wipe out all education oh my god so that children can't learn and thus they'll suffer he uses this weird satellite attached to their fucking car to broadcast this weird blue ray that apparently erases ink from all the textbooks and news magazines. So they can't read. So and they learn. can't learn. Yeah. And then the third episode is like, oh, I'll just injure all these like famous like celebrities in sports. To ruin all of the people the kids idolize. Yeah, so like they get this baseball player, like which I'm pretty sure they broke his wrists. Uh, I'm sorry, you said his name is Professor K, are you sure you're not calling him by his actual name, Robbie Rotten? <laughs> Here's a little sound like lazy town. Soon all of these children will be history. Like, wow. It's... I'm sorry, that's all I can contribute right now. You wanna know the worst part? Huh? The first episode, like the whole book thing, Grimlord had the idea in VR Troopers. <laughs> Like, like JB's dad runs a a library on wheels, which is just a van full of books. And he's, like, and he's like, if we stop it, people can't get the books. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm sorry, what? I think we've reached Golgum levels of stupid evil plans. <laughs> That's why I love about these old shows. They're like, what? Oh yeah. You don't have an actual motive. You're just doing shit. At this point, I'm surprised that he didn't that that Nick didn't explode no. his underwater lab and base. Even 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 one of his one of, even one of fucking Professor K's minions is like, well, why don't we just like attack the armies or something? Or he's like, no, children. No, children we must kill armies. the children. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Iron Mon. I'm not Are allergic you? to armies. Which oh yeah, Iron Mon, like his fucking second in command. This evil robot has, alien? Yeah, who has this weird like fucking noise he makes constantly. Anytime <laughs> one of the monsters is defeated, immediate like so immediately that I thought the noise was because they were defeated, but every time one of the monsters is defeated, you immediately hear Iron Mon's just like breathing heavily and it's super fucked up. So like just replace it with like Sans's fucking thing. Just uh, 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 uh. Do, 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 He was do, basically do, Robo Sans. He, he reminded me of a gush a, gush a bit from Life Man. He, mm. he was the robot that would show up and make the monsters giant. Like he would show up with a giant fucking bazooka. Be like Make him grow. But yeah, the the funny thing about Oshida in his crime helmet in episode three was until we knew who he was. In my notes, I have him referred to as Umpire Man. Umpire because like, he looked like a yeah, fucking baseball umpire, which would have been oh, on brand. Oh, is that what they're is that what they're called? Umpire. Yeah. Umpires. Oh. The one yeah. that was like steroid. Yeah, I, I just I, I never knew the actual name of that. Yeah, I don't play sports, but I know some things. I played baseball and I didn't know that. Um. But yeah, this was a pretty fucked up show. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep watching it. 
course you are. Well, let us know if there's any other fucking... Oh, oh also, there. Maki's grandma is badass because she tells Ken to bring the criminal who's hurting all the idols in front of her so she can whoop his ass. <laughs> No. Also, Oshida looked like Gentoku's poor brother. <laughs> yeah. Just I, I, overall, I like Machine Man's design. The design oh, kind of I like his design. It's interesting considering its time. What really bugs me about it is the cape is so fucking see through that it might as well not even be there. I love the cape. And then in episode three, during the fights in that episode, it wasn't there. I know. Yeah, I noticed that as well. Yeah. It's like, I'm like, why doesn't he have the cape now? Okay. And apparently, to, uh, from the Japanese Wikipedia page, the reason why his mouth is open is to show that even though he is considered machine man, he is human. He's machine and man. Wait, so, so the way you can tell that oh, yeah, someone is not a they... machine is by having a mouth? What? It's Showa. But, uh, yeah, the suit is kind of interesting. For me, it looks like they kit... I know this came before all of what I'm about to say, but it looks like they kit-bashed Kamen Rider Birth, the Astro Megazord, and Harvey Birdman. <laughs> okay, Harvey Birdman was probably around before before Machine Man. Birdman! Yeah. And he's got these weird, like, satellite-like ears on his helmet, and I wanted so bad for, like, whenever he'd be scanning for stuff, that I wanted them to just, like, twirl. Like, scanning. I did see a cool gif of him, because, like, I like I first learned about Machine Man through, like, took because I follow a Twitter account called uh, Tokusatsu Gifts. Yes, um, so it showed an episode, uh, showed a clip from Machine Man, I think it was episode 5, where, like, uh, a villain's, like, a monster's, like, shooting a bullets at a gun at him, and you just see Machine Man just, like, catching all the bullets with, like, his <laughs> hand, and I was like, that's fucking cool. I also like that after he transforms, his pose is fucking the Ori Sanjo pose. But, but I think I think I can't take this show seriously <laughs> just because because of what the origins of what this guy actually is he's just here for studying for a thesis like come on uh two things one to me he he reminds me of rider man yeah it kind of has that vibe it, I, I, like it's in I like man's. like imagine <laughs> if, like and especially Sorry, since especially s- like it's been like a good decade before like after rider man yeah and then um Oh, what was the other thing that I was going to say? There was something important. I had it. Go on. I'm thinking. I can't remember. We're waiting. Uh, oh, right. Oh. Right. Uh, the reason why he got his name Machine Man was because Maki kept calling him. Oh, that. yeah. She just comes up with the name and, randomly. And, like, as he's riding away, like, on his... Sweet Suzuki motorcycle. Because, yeah, which all the kids wait, fucking yeah. kept constantly. Oh, like, shit, is that which, which he also kept yoinked out of fucking nowhere. Holy shit, is that fucking Suzuki? Oh man, these babies can go for my. This thing's fucking decent, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Put bubbles in any trail park wasn't anything. Just I got your back, machine man. <laughs> Green bastard parts in <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Green machine. Hey, if he's axe, some... hey, if he's axe man, I'm fucking dope man. Ricky, you're always on fucking dope, so you're dope man. <laughs> Julian, you're fucking. Listen, guys, this guy's attacking the children. He needs to save the kids. Julian's liquor man. Get your shit straight, Ricky. Oh shit, bottle kids. <laughs> <laughs> Julian's liquor man. Yeah, yeah. Ju- he's rum and coke man. <laughs> Whatever it was. Perfect coke. Julian, you're fucking rum and coke man. I'm kidding, man. Cause I take care of all the fucking kiddies. <laughs> Uh, anyways, these three episodes, first two episodes I like. Third one was third eh. one was the weakest. I, 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 I'll admit I passed out a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I did too. Like, 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 I guess I, you could say you struck out. Like, like I woke up and I'm like, oh, there's a kid in the hospital. Okay, sound about legs. Okay, pass out again. Wake up. The you know what was funny about the kid? Oh. You know what was funny about the kid who apparently didn't have his legs working? There was a scene where the father was talking to him. Like and he was about to pick him up to carry him back to the hospital, but for a good two seconds, the kid is standing there perfectly fine. Shh! It's like Peter. Eh, eh, I'm handicapped. Wow. Um. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you want to see a really weird ass fucking Toku, go watch this. Uh, but honestly, in my opinion, I like like Machine Man's cool looking. I like his design. I like his abilities. I couldn't get over how Episode Two felt like I was watching Night Trap. <laughs> 
But, um, you did mention Night Trap. It, uh, the entire show was subbed by Big Nova Subs, I believe it is. Okay. Uh, they were doing Tokusatsu Gagaga ga ga in like another Shotaro Ishimori series. I, it was about like uh, Kyoden, I think it was. Okay. It was like those two, like the Red and Blue Brothers that were in the Forza movie. Kyodan. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, Kyodan. Skydane yeah. and Groundane? Yeah. 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 They're halfway through that show. I wanted to do that for Metal April, but since the show's not fully subbed, I was like, can't talk about All that. All or nothing, yeah. fuckers. Pretty, pretty much. It's like, it's Even though sh- you're, that didn't happen here. Yeah, but again, it's because like I was on vacation. Yeah. So, wow, that show uh, happened. But this is why I'm here, guys, to show you shows I like this. To wa- it's always a good sign when after I miss something, I need to watch it just to see. I mean, I gave you the links for it, so. I know, and I'm going to watch it because that sounds incredible. But next week of Jikai Radio Sentai Kastrenja, uh, for our third installment of Metal April 2, we're going back to Matelder, baby. Oh, but I don't want to pick up those entertaining Matelder products. But, but it's just a movie this time. Oh my god. Gar, Gar has fucking been hyping me up for this movie. Oh. Telling me what, it, what it's about. And I'm, I, I cannot wait. Oh, this movie's so, so good. Like, now when you say good. Now, AT, no, and Matelder, no. remember, remember, remember the, like, the villain's headquarters and all those fucking monsters? Uh-huh. They're all in this movie. Oh, good. Yeah. Like, all of all them. All of them. Oh, fuck. All like, of them. Like, full-on Blitzkrieg against Matelder. Cool. Yeah, so I can't wait to watch this movie. So they're they're gonna do better than the Kikaider movie did with the bring back all the monsters Oh, bit. yeah. Because like, I remember... Because remember these I, ones are smart. Oh, okay. Because I remember I enjoyed Matelder from what we watched, and I liked his design. Matelder's fucking oh, cool. Oh, my God. If Matelder ever came out over here on DVD or something, I would buy it. You should make a figure in Matelder. There is a figure. It just never came out. Oh. That sucks. Lightning Collection VR Troopers. Feels I wrong. would buy it. <laughs> That'll never happen. Fucking like, Lightning Collection Mystic Knights. <laughs> I would buy all of them. I mean, anyway. Hasbro does own Mystic Knights. Hasbro, please! Oh, do they? I thought they were owned by Fox or something. Well, no, no, uh... It was part of the Disney deal. Saban bought it back, but they didn't do anything with it. And then Hasbro's like, Yoink. I'm going to go buy Mystic Knights on DVD because I need that Does show in my a... life again. It doesn't have a DVD, unfortunately. Doesn't it? Nope. I could have sworn it did. Uh, probably in like the UK or That's something on like Gen X. Uh, I need it though. <laughs> but anyways, we'll see you all next time. Thank you all for listening, liking, favoriting, sharing, subscribing. And if you have an idea for what you want us to talk about, that talk about for a featured topic that we haven't already done, leave a comment below. I was about to go ha and show it to you, and then I see format VHS tape. <laughs> hey, just get a VCR, man. You're good. I have a VCR. Uh oh no, here it is. Mystic Knights complete series DVD. Is it by now? Though? I genuinely don't care at this point. Well, apparently for $55, you can buy the buy the six-inch figures of the four Mystic Knights. They don't have their weapons, but... You can go well, on. then what's the point? Well, it's about them, not G- the weapons. Guys, I think we should stop recording. Anyways, we'll see y'all <laughs> next week, people. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoy Machine Man. Oh, God. Doing whatever a machine oh, can? Machine man, take me by the hand. Super fighting robot. Machine man. Machine man. The villains felt like Mega Man met Robot Masters. I am X-Man. I am Claw Man. I'm that gay uncle. Gay I am Amazon. I'm I'm machine Amazon. man would be the worst Mega Man. like. <laughs> the powers of a Master. machine. The powers Wait, of... That? Just being a machine like all of the other ones. Yeah, you know, he just says the power of all of the robot masters. So Mega that Man. would actually be good. Yeah. <laughs> all right. A stingray on a rhino. Bye, everybody. Robot master himself. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you for having bye, me. Bye everybody. Despite my incompetence. Ah! <laughs> bye Dave. G- good night everyone. Thank you for everything. <laughs>